Hey, what is going on? It's your boy Elroy White coming to you on a beautiful day. How are you doing today? If you're joining me, feel free to comment below. Let me know you're tuning in. I'll give you a shout out. Um, you know, this Facebook Live, I'm actually going to uh, give you three tips uh, to remember when you approach a roadblock in your business. All right. So we all face roadblocks, obstacles, challenges in our life, in our businesses. It doesn't matter what we do. We always face these things. So if you're joining me, if you're hearing my voice, have you ever approached a roadblock in your life? I have many, many times. And, you know, there's some things that you got to understand Hey, Jermaine, thanks for joining, man. Melanie, thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, so there are certain things that you have to realize when you actually approach these things in your life and especially in your business because I often hear uh, people um, come, like make a post in our mastermind group that they're struggling, they're frustrated, they're overwhelmed and all these things, right? And you know what? It's actually a good thing when you approach roadblocks in your life. I'll, I'll share with you why. You know, when you approach a roadblock, it means that you're going somewhere special. All right. So if you're not approaching any roadblocks, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give you three tips actually to remember when you approach these roadblocks so you won't get frustrated, angry, and want to quit. All right. Hi, Melanie. All right. So are we ready? <laughs> so um, number one, okay, always have the end goal in mind. You know, why did you decide to do your business? You know, your why is actually going to help you to to um, to overcome those those challenges when it appears. Right. Because if your why is not bigger than their challenges, then it's going to it's going to actually get you frustrated and make you want to quit. But when you have a strong why, OK, you will overcome any obstacles and do whatever it takes to to go around those roadblocks. Actually, I was listening to a, um, a personal development tape and it says, whenever you approach a roadblock in your business or in your life, you have to go around it, right? So for example, if you're going on the road on a mission, let's say you're going to um, work, for example, right? And, um, and then you're driving on the road and the, the police actually close off the road, right? There's, a, there's an accident. So what, are you going to stay there like, oh my God, um, the road is closed. I'm not going to go to work and stuff like that, right? You're going to find another way to go, right? You're going to have to get a detour to get where you want to go. So that's exactly what you have to do when you actually um, approach a roadblock in your business and in your life, because we always face it, right? It means that you're going somewhere special, all right? So you got to discipline those roadblocks when it comes, all right? And go over it if you have to, right? <laughs> right. So the number two thing is, right, you're going to focus on finding the solution rather than focusing on the problem. Okay. Now, how many of you have done that? Oh, you're, you're struggling with your ads. You're struggling with whatever it is and you focus on the problem. You know, one of the things that I learned when I actually um, in business is that whatever you focus on will expand. Now, what do you want to expand? Do you want your struggles to expand or do you want your solution to expand? And don't, don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? You know, if you're having problem with traffic campaigns, if you're having problem with generating leads or whatever it is, find somebody who know how to do it and ask them to help you. Okay, instead of getting frustrated over things that you can't control because you cannot control when these things appear in your life, but you can control how you react to these situations when it happens. All right, so we're going to go on to the three, the third tip. Okay, the third tip is you got to celebrate your small wins. Okay, now it doesn't matter if it's generating your first lead. It doesn't matter if it's setting up your own campaign. It doesn't matter if it's like getting your, your first check in your business. Whatever it is, celebrate it, okay? Share it on social media. Tell a friend who cares about you. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I just got my first lead. You know, I just launched my, my first business. Or whatever it is, just celebrate it. Be excited about your future, you know? So those are the tips. I mean, 
type a one down below if you're if you're getting value out of this um training because this actually this mindset actually helped me uh throughout my journey and it will definitely help you when you have the proper mindset uh when you're facing these obstacles all right so i'm going to review uh the three tips all right number one i always have the end goal in mind what is your why why are you doing the business you know one of my why was to really uh retire my parents uh from their job you know just for a gift right that just to uh to birth me right because i don't want i don't want my kids uh, my future kids to really go through what they did work for the rest of their life and um not having to have enough money to travel or do the things that they want. I want to be able to give them that as a, as a gift, as a gift to say, hey, thank you for giving birth to me. You know what I'm saying? And I want my future generation to really remember who I am, that I left a legacy for them. So they don't have to go through all these struggles of getting a job and stuff like that. So these things really um, help me to motivate me to keep on going. It doesn't matter what happens in my life, right? So. So you gotta keep your end goal in mind, okay? And the number number two tip was to um, to focus on finding a solution rather than focus on the problem because whatever you focus on will expand. And the number three is you gotta celebrate your wins because when you celebrate your small wins, man, big win will will come forth, and you're telling the universe that you really appreciate and you're really happy for getting your small wins. All right, so that's it for today. Hope you got some value from this. If you did, give me a shout out down below. All right. So with that being said, have yourself a fantastic day. If you're watching the recording, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next Facebook Live. All right. This is Elroy White. Peace out.